Michael. Joined every Wednesday at this time by my good friend Rich Tandler from CSNWashington.com. And Rich, a little break right now. And during the break, yep. how many times are you going to get to the 53-man roster? How many times are you going to analyze this? Is it daily, weekly, hourly? You do this every hour on the hour, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. Just, uh, you know, you always can look at something and get a new thought and say, well, maybe this guy's got a shot and maybe that guy won't. It's not such a and sure plus, thing. And plus, if so. you throw that many out there, he's bound to be it's right true. If somewhere. you do it every day, you're probably going to get one right. <laughs> How, how right were you last year, Rich Tandler? I think I got 48 or 49 out of the 53. Okay, okay. All so. on one uh, oh, yeah, article? That's, that's or uh, on, yeah, okay. on, no, <laughs> on, on, one, on my final. On my final. So where is the toughest place to make a cut going to be for the Redskins this year? Uh, I think it's safety is is going to be tough. It's it's not so much, you know, I, I you know, they're – there's some good players back there. There aren't really many great players, but you got your top three is set with Deshaun Golson, uh, Golson, um, Jerron Johnson, and Duke Ahinacho. After that, you got you got uh, uh, Jarrett, the new kid from Virginia Tech, the right. rookie. You've got Akeem Davis. You've got Philip Thomas, who has been around for a few years, was thought to be starter material here. Right, draft but uh, you know, Trenton Robinson, who knows? Good Trenton Robinson, player. yes. So they're pretty much fighting for one job, and you know that's that's very much going to come down to the last hours of, of September fifth when they make the final cuts. It's kind of the fun of this time of the year, and if you try to count it up yourself, it's going to be hard to do. Will there be maybe a player, additional player on the offensive or defensive yeah. side? You're going to have three special teamers. So it's 25, 25, and 3, at least on the drawing board. But how many offensive linemen, now that the Redskins might have some depth, how many can they carry? I think nine. You know, they might want to keep 10. You know, they might want to keep, you know, like I think it's going to be tough for Willie Smith, the the, the guy who made it here as an undrafted free agent in 2011, went play for a couple of other teams as back. You know, I think they'd like to find a way to keep him. But, you know, I think the numbers games with, you know, they drafted Quanjo. They, uh, you know, of course, they'd rest with Brandon Sher Sheriff. He's he's a sure thing. Right. So, you know, I, I think they'd like to keep 10, but I think it's going to be limited to nine pretty much. When you look at this period during the offseason, which is the quietest time here at Redskins Park, and you see some players working out on their own, what is the purpose of that? I mean, trying to stay sharp. They're already in shape. Can't imagine you get out of shape in the span of a month before camp. But when we hear about these guys who are out working out together, what does that mean? Yeah, I think a lot of it is, is is the mental edge. You know, you're 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 thinking about it. You're thinking about getting better. You're wondering what that guy on the Cowboys who's going to be lining up opposite you is doing. You're wondering what that guy on the Eagles who's lining up opposite you. What is he doing right now? He's trying to get better, so I got to try to get better. All right, Robert Griffin the third got a little lull here. Seen him around the complex. He continues to work. Uh, what does he have to be ready for? Come. July 30th, because the scrutiny is going to be intense. Yes, it will, especially as we get into, you know, the preseason games. You know, I, I think generally speaking, I like what I saw out of them in, in OTAs and mini camps. Of course, that's not in pads, but but quarterbacks really don't practice Compared in pads. Compared to what you saw last year. Yes, he, then, he's a lot less hesitant, a lot more, you know, a lot less decisive. I guess being the being the the operative word that that they wanted to be. So, you know. But it's it's different when you've got you know guys in other other colored jerseys really trying to trying to stop them so and, and stop his receivers. So we will see. You know, so far so good, but we're really not very far.